that's all right, Andy. I ain't arguing with you. I was willing to do anything I can to help the business next year. Amos, don't try to think that I was trying to tell you everything or anything, but it's up to the president of the company to give a talk to his employees at the end of the year. Oh, that's all right. I know that you kind of got to get everything together. Amos, let us look back. Behind me? What's the matter? No, no. I say let us look back. Back where? We has been through the year of 1928. And the company ain't regressed like it ought to do it. Why? I give up. There you is. Oh, I didn't know that. It's up to the men that do the work to put this company over the top. Over the top of what? Amos, I know you ain't got no sense, but play like you got some, will you? Well, I'm trying to listen to you, Andy. You talking down here, I can't tell what you're talking about. What I was trying to do is to sum up everything. Well, go ahead, sum it up, sum it up, I don't care. I've been over the statistics of the taxi cab, uh, industry, and i found a lot of things that ain't had no business being like they is. Mm -mm. I'm giving you a talk here, boy, you know it. This year's worth money to the company, the way I was talking. Oh, this is good. Good? This is great. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. According to the statistics, we has done made a lot of wrong moves. What do you mean we done made a lot of wrong moves? We ain't moved nowhere. Oh, yeah. We done a lot of things wrong, you know it. The only thing wrong that I know about is when you got messed up with Widow Parker. Why, you got to bring that up, Amos. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Here I am talking about business, and you got to remind me of that. I was got it. Ain't no use to get mad now. I just say that that's the only thing that we done done that's caused trouble. By the way, that case comes up right after the first of the year. That's going to spoil the whole year for me. Well, all you got to do is see Susie for breach of promise is just to go to court and tell the judge that you ain't done nothing. If I just didn't have that thing to worry about, we could go along here next year, work the thing out on a business basis. Maybe we'd make thousands of dollars. I wouldn't let that worry me, though, Andy, if I was you. How I going to help us? If you had some woman suing you, you'd think about it, too. Well, I know one thing. I ain't never been as happy as I is now, because I don't give you with that engagement ring. Boy, you just as bad off as I is, only you don't know it yet, that's all. If you call this bad off, I'm satisfied with it. Well, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get back to the business here, because this ain't getting us nowhere. All right, go ahead. I'll listen to you. Amos, as the head man of the company, I've got to tell you that I ain't satisfied with the way things has been going. Well, I've been doing the best I can. We has got to run the company on a sufficient basis so that everything will work out in a system map way. Well, you can't blame me for that. I'm telling you, though, Amos, that we has got to take in more money, cut down the expenses, and then we can make money. We waste money. Tires wearing out. Boy, we gotta cut that out. Well, you can't help it if a tire wears out now and then. Drive the car easy on the tires. You ain't gotta burn them up. Another thing, we gotta get more miles out of gasoline than we've been getting, too. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Well, we gotta do it. Well, you're a better man than I is if you can tell me how we get more miles out of gasoline than we've been getting. Do more coasting. Shove in your clutch and coast. We done talked that over once, Andy. You can't coast uphill. Coast downhill. I suppose a man get in the taxi cab, though, and he don't want to go downhill. Well, now, there's something else again, see? That's where you come in. I'll explain that to you. Now, wait a minute here. Look here. I'll look for here. Well, Listen, Amos, that's where you come in. You mean come in the office? No, no, that's where you talk to the man and talk him into riding downhill. In the first place, there ain't no hills around here that I done found out. All you gotta do, Amos, is say to the man that wants to ride, just ask him where he's going. Mm -hmm. And if he's going somewhere that you can't coast, talk him out of it. That sounds all right, Andy, but when a man gets in the taxi cab, and he's in a hurry, and he wants to go to some depot and catch the train. 
I can't take him to another depot that's downhill. How about these pills that I've been reading about that you put in the gasoline to double the mileage? Oh, I done tried them. I must have got a hold of the wrong kind of pills. They must have been aspirin tablets or something, because they didn't do nothing but stop up the gas line. What kind of gasoline you been using in the car? Any kind I can get. You ain't been using no cheap gasoline in that automobile, is you? Cheap as I can buy. That's the trouble with the whole situation. Next year, starting on January the 1st, 1929, you is hereby ordered to put the best gasoline in there that you can get. Cheap. Well, we are lucky to get enough money to buy gasoline with. Let me see, I have some more things to talk to you about here. Go ahead, bear down, I'll I with you. Oh yeah, yeah, about the uh, tips. All tips come into the company. Well, I've been turning in all my tips. Just don't forget to do it next year, too. I ain't gonna forget it. Now, Amos, we is about to go into the new year. We has got to go after business like we ain't never gone after it before. Now, if you got anything that you don't know about that you want to ask me so there ain't going to be no mess around next year? No, I ain't nothing that I want to ask you. That's the trouble with you. You think you know it all? No, I don't think I know it all. I just don't know what to ask you. Unless I ask you if you're going to help me drive the uh, taxi cab next year. Oh, yeah. I'll explain that to you. Mm -hmm. You know that I've been busy on the books this past year. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know you've been working on it. Well, uh, next year I'm going to be twice as busy as I was this year, so I ain't going to have a chance to do nothing. I'm going to work and work and work. Uh, how come you're going to be twice as busy? Well, now I'm going to tell you. Next year I'm going to keep two sets of books. Uh, next year you're going to keep two sets of books? How come you're going to do that? Oh, somebody would steal one set. Did you ever think of that? What would happen about that? Suppose we would have a fire and burn up the set. Well, uh, where is you going to keep the books? Uh, down here at the office? Yeah, I'm going to keep both sets down here at the office. Well, uh, if you're going to keep both sets down here at the office and if we have a fire, it would burn up both sets the same as it would burn up one set, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe I better keep three sets next year. Three sets of books, though. Wait a minute. No, no. That'd be a strain. Boy, that would be such a strain on my brain, I don't think I could hold out the whole year. That's bad. I'd have to take a long vacation. But anything else you want to tell me? Oh, yeah. I got something very important to tell you. What is it? Amos, I've been working on the books day and night. And I am now ready to make my repost on the financial standing of the company at the end of this year. And I am now going to give you the financial standard. All right, what is the financial standard? I have been over all the books and added up everything and found out that we ain't got nothing. And let that be a lesson to you. Now, let's pull together and see if next year we can make twice as much. All right, we pull together next year and see if we can make twice as much. All right, I'll do it with you.